Good evening, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Dumb TV. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for brand new content. This is your boy, Gold Mouth Shorty. Let me get straight down to business. Today, we're finna talk about the Kings of Crunk. You know what I'm saying? We're finna talk about that Atlanta scene back in the 90s, you know what I'm saying? Early 2000s, you know. You had Pastor Troy leading the pack. You know what I'm saying? And you had other rappers like Lil John and the East Side Boys and Lil Scrappy. You know what I'm saying? But today we finna talk about Sammy Sam, the hitman, and we're gonna talk about drama, you know what I'm saying? Well everybody know after Pastor Troy blew up, you know what I'm saying? It was just a whole bunch of rappers coming out of A, you know what I'm saying, kinda biting his style. But, you know, these two guys here, they stand out to me the most, you know what I'm saying? Because Sammy the Sam, hit man, he had a platinum song, Step Daddy, you know what I'm saying? And he ended up getting a $2 million deal, you know what I'm saying? Then you got Drama Man, he had a gold record, you know what I'm saying? And he had a nice video rotating on BET, and, you know, he was on Rap City. You know what I'm saying? He was like the poster child for the crunk sound, you know. And on the other hand, Pastor Troy, he had stayed independent at the Universal. You know what I'm saying? He got his big break. But early on, Pastor Troy, he laid down the foundation in Augusta. You know what I'm saying? And then he brought all his people back to Atlanta and put it on the map. Drama... He started with uh, Raheem the Dream and Tight to Death. You know what I'm saying? Him and uh, him and Raheem, you know, they just kept it in house. You know what I'm saying? And they had Shorty Red at the time producing that whole album, man. So he the real man behind the crunk. You know what I'm saying? And drama. You know what I'm saying? He ended up doing a lot of big things. Like, he was on the uh, the Slip and Slide compilation, you know what I'm saying, with uh, Greg Street. And he was on a couple other compilations, but he was out doing features like crazy, man, for the little two years. He was out, you know, working on John Wayne and causing drama. You feel me? He got to work with Fabo, Young Dro. You know what I'm saying? But all in all, man, he got messed up. His career got, you know, pushed back when he got sentenced to 15 years for a whole bunch of bank robberies and armed robberies and stuff that he was doing in the city, man. You know what I'm saying? Moving along. You got stepdaddy, he been out a long time ago, man. You know what I'm saying? Way before Pastor Troy even thought about it, him and Oomp. You know what I'm saying? He currently in prison right now, but, you know, hopefully he'll be back. But he had a platinum record on his hands, man. And, you know, he had a taste of success with the stepdaddy, you know, crossover hit. You know what I'm saying? And he worked with... Uh, Baby D, um, you know what I'm saying, DJ um, DJ Monte, you know what I'm saying, they had the streets on smash for the longest, you know what I'm saying, and Pastor Troy, he always kept it real and kept it underground and original, you know what I'm saying, he mad society forever, you know, working on his own music and doing his own beats, and he was always a loner, man, so... You know what I'm saying? When these cats was mimicking his style, he didn't like that piece of mine.